Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete for the Sony PlayStation. Last time we'd rescued the members of the caravan from that ugly monster underground, and yeah, we're back here now. Uh, thank you, Hero, for convincing me to help. I'm sorry I took so long to realize you were right. And, Gibbon, thank you for taking care of me and treating me as if I were your own child. What's the matter, Gene? You say, you say such kind things, but you sound so sad. I've decided that I'm going to leave the caravan for a while. I'd thought about doing this sooner, but I just didn't have the courage. I've been running away from my past since the moment you found me, Gibbon. I believed that I could forget all that happened to me and learn to find happiness. But here and the other showed me how wrong I was. They sh I love that she's smiling while she says this. They showed me that I can't embrace the future without reconciling the past, and that's why I have to go. Were you really worried that I would be angry at Eugene? Do you remember what I said when we found you and when you joined the caravan? I said that the caravan was your new family and that you were my new daughter. What kind of parent would I be if I didn't let you pursue this chance at redemption? Thank you, Gibbon. The, fir uh, the first place I'm headed is the city of Moribia. I want to meet with Blue, uh, Blue Master Lun, the greatest martial artist in the world. Of course, if anyone can help you to hone your skills, it's him. Then I'll use those skills to slay the demons of my past and liberate my soul from shame. Hero, you know how much I care for Jean. Promise me that you'll help her on our quest. Of course, Given. Goodbye, Given. Goodbye, Jean. <laughs> Don't be afraid to come back and visit us on your journeys. You notice that people use each other's name, like, a whole lot, like... I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm talking to someone in life, I'm not always like, Hey Bob, how's it going, Bob? Did you go to the show on Wednesday, Bob? Oh, that's cool, Bob. You, you know, you don't use a person's name that much when you're conversing back and forth. At least I don't. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up all the events here. There's not much else. Uh, like I was mentioning in the last video, if you, before the monster, if you need to, you can come in here, and I think one of these is a, a shop. Is it this guy, maybe? Whoops. Yeah, this guy is, and he sells herbs, purity herbs, vitality vial, angel's tears, and dragonfly wings. So if you need them, I probably should have showed that before, but... Oh well. And it's funny too, because the, the events of here, in the caravan area, are really expanded upon from the Sega CD version. Because essentially what happens in the Sega CD version is, you know... You come to the caravan clearing, you meet Gene, the Plantella monster attacks, and then Gene immediately joins your party. Like, the whole sequence of, like, Gene cooling down on the cliff, Gene's flashback to the Shadow Dragon cult, and all that stuff. Like, that's, like, not even in the Sega CD. The, the scene at Althena's Spring with Hero and Lucia, that's not there. Gene's hesitation to join with us. All that stuff's, like, exclusive to PlayStation that they expanded upon here, which is pretty cool. And um, the dungeon, too, is another thing. Uh, in the PlayStation, it's just two screens, whereas in the Sega CD, it's like a full-fledged dungeon that you have to go through. So yeah, just a little bit of back, a uh, little bit of history there for you. Uh, you're leaving our troop, Gene? We're all going to miss you, dear. And just when I finally finished the poster I've been working on for the past few weeks. Here, Gene, I want you to have it. I hope it reminds you of all the wonderful times you had with us. Gene's bromide, too. I think it's my best work yet. I have a feeling you'll be back with us soon, Gene. You'll always be the biggest star of Gibbon's Caravan. It's a wonderful poster. Thank you very much. I'll treasure it. So yeah, before you take off, make sure you uh, talk to that girl and you can get Gene's bromide number two, entitled Dancing Queen. And there you go. Okay, oh, four minutes in and I feel like I haven't even done anything. It's time to leave. It's actually time to save our game, too, because I have not done that in a while, either. Sounded like a little bit of slowdown there. That's strange. I haven't experienced that thus far. And around we go back on our mission to get to the Holy City. And let's see here. This is. Well, I don't think we can leave just yet. Hey, old travelers, my apologies in advance, but I'm afraid I can't allow you through the gate. As a priest of the goddess, I must obey the will of Althena's guard. This isn't good, hero. There's no other path to the holy city, and Leo knows it. Oh, 
Okay, so that's all he's going to say. Well, what are we supposed to do then? Ooh, we're going to open this chest. That's what we're going to do. Um, let's see. Oh, there's, we should probably heal, too. There's another chest hidden right down there that contains some holy water. Then, let's... Can we... Can we, we can't go through there. Um, hmm. Well, I do see a weapon and armor shop here. Let's go in here first. Looking to upgrade your armor? That's not a bad idea, what with all the monsters running around. And they sell chainmail here, and I'm an idiot, so if you want to save yourself 720 silver, you should really pick up that one back in the Illusion Woods that I blatantly just... I separated the bush, I ran in, that monster attacked me, and then I left without even opening the chest, because I'm an idiot. So now I have to pay out the nose to get two of these. See a hairband. Oh, that's for her. Okay, well, buy one for her. Iron gauntlet, that's for Jean as well. Thankfully, we can still afford everything here, so that's good. Did I get anything for him? Oh, yeah. Chainmail for you. A new bracelet and new armor for him. Jean got a gauntlet and a hairband. Let's go ahead and sell off our old crap, too. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of both of those. We'll hang on to the clogs for whatever reason. I'm never going to use them. There's that junky dagger we picked up back in Dalton, too. Uh, let's see. What do we have as far as weapons go? Silver move. This stuff is expensive. I'd really rather buy jeans because I think she's going to be attacking more than Ronfar is. And. Oop! Feather pant. Oh, I'm not even going to have enough if I sell that off. Oh well. I'll just have to wait and come back and get Ronfar's in a little bit later, I guess. Um. Is there. Even if I, uh, uh, did, did, I know, I already talked to you, but, well, what am I supposed to do then? Well, um, is there some other way? There's got to be something we can do. <sighs> oh, well. Go into the bar? Is there someone in the bar that can help us? Sometimes that's always, a uh, hey, you. Greetings, travelers. I'm a messenger from the Magic Guild of Vane. We are recruiting new members. Would you like to join? All you need to do is pay an entrance fee and pass a simple test. The Magic Guild sounds like fun here. Let's take the test. Oh, poo, I forgot that we don't allow flying cats in the guild. I always forget that rule. Well, that rule doesn't matter anyway because I'm not a cat. I hate to break up the raging kitty debate, sister, but we're late for a very important date. Haven't you heard? The gate on the north side of the village was recently closed. Because a very dangerous creature is on the loose end headed for Takar. It must be where we are right now. A dangerous creature? Jeez, I thought Leo was searching for Lucia, not my last girlfriend. We cannot find Althena if we cannot pass through this place. Well, since none of us has a hairy, drooling beast, I'm sure we'll be allowed through the gate. Let's go and talk to the guard. I'm sure he's a sensible guy. Perhaps you're right, and the guard will let you pass. Perhaps he won't. You can only try. If you wish to speak with me again, I'll be around. That was a little suspicious. What kind of attitude was that? Offering us a test to enter the guild and then excluding me? That girl was a mountain of weird, that's for sure. I mean, what was up with that hood? And was I just hearing things, or did she giggle at us when she walked away? I have no idea. Wait, hold on. Go back. I see a chest. Passion fruit. I don't even know what that's for. But, um, I guess we'll go back and we'll try talking to this guy again. Yeah, I've already read all of this. According to a friend of ours, you shut the gate because you're trying to trap a monster. But as you can see, none of us are monsters, not even Ronfar, so why not let us through? I'm sorry, miss, but we don't yet know exactly what this creature looks like. A messenger from Dalton will be here shortly to provide us with a more detailed description. Well, uh, what have you heard about this monster, buddy? Its name is Lucia the Destroyer, and it has enlisted the aid of a band of notorious criminals. Lucia's goal is simple, to destroy our world and annihilate all that Athena has created. Is that what you have been told? 
That story is false human. I am not the destroyer. <laughs> uh, of course you're not, honey, but you sure are funny. There's no need for any of you to worry. The destroyer will be found very soon, I'm sure of it. No less a figure than Lord uh, no less a figure than Lord Leo, the white knight of Althena, is coming to here to die. That sentence didn't make sense to me. Uh, it should be very entertaining to watch him dispatch the destroyer, don't you agree? Actually, I don't agree at all. Where'd she come from? <laughs> you're wasting your time with that fool. He'll never let you through. If you're in as much a hurry to leave this village as you seem to be, perhaps I can help you. Come with me and I'll share something very interesting. Hey, you're the girl we met in the tavern. What do you want to share? Herpes? If that's what it is, I don't want it. Uh, Lucia, where are you going? The North Gate isn't the only way out of this village. There's a secret mountain pass to the east of here, leading all the way around to Nota. Really? That's wonderful news. So what are we wait? But the mountain pass also leads to a haunted manor. If you don't pass through the manor, you can't continue along the pass, and you won't get to Nota. Couldn't you have given us the bad news first? If you have enough magical ability, you should be able to make it through the manor. Are you willing to accept this challenge and take the test? Can we use a lifeline, or how about a 50-50? There's a fence on the east side of the village. Don't keep me waiting. But who in the world is that girl, and why does she know so much about haunted mansions? I'd like to know why she hides her face under that hood. What a weird woman. Am I also weird? Should I wear a hood as well? It's not a fashion trend, Lucia. Besides, if you were wearing a hood, you'd look suspicious. Anyway, let's go and meet her at the gate. If we don't get out of here soon, Leo will catch us. Yeah, we may as well. Hey, lady. You've decided to take the test. Excellent! You must be confident in your abilities. This is the entrance to the mountain pass. Like we couldn't have done that ourselves, really? This path will lead you to Nota, but it's not an easy journey. There are many monsters along the trail since it's never cleared out by adventurers. So you must be cautious at all times. There could be something lurking around every corner. You'll find out soon enough if you have enough strength and wisdom to pass the test. Alright, let's go. <laughs> that went even better than I thought it would. I have to dash if I'm going to beat them to the manor, though. I... Uh, what, what is she up to? I don't like this at all. Anyway, well, here we are. We're now in the... What do you even call this? Some kind of mountain pass. Anyway, I'm pretty much out of time for today, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and call it a wrap right here when we come back we're gonna make our way through the mountain pass to some haunted mansion i don't know sounds like fun to me thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time